Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings, and I'm hoping by now that you've seen our unboxing video of the new house plants we just got in. Uh, they came in from the plant company, and that is the company that is partnering with Proven Winners for the new Leaf Joy line of Proven Winners house plants. So let's take a little bit closer look at what we got and just show you some of this beautiful foliage and texture that we'll be able to deliver to your doorstep here shortly. So since I'm not quite up on how to pronounce all of these house plants yet, I'm gonna just go ahead and go past them, show you the tag information. I'll go ahead and say the plant name, and then you can look on our website for more information on where exactly you can grow these particular house plants in your house. So let's start off here with this beautiful one. It's called Belize. And this one I can pronounce, it's a ficus uh, elastica. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the beautiful coloration on the foliage of this plant. Uh, one thing that really stands out to me with seeing this right up front here is the kind of a salmon coral color um, on the edges of the leaf. And then it's got that beautiful burgundy inside there. So this is um, really a neat plant if you're looking to add a little bit of different color into your house plant uh, family. Here we have Princess and it's Clusia. And we'll take a look here at this one. This one's got really thick leaves. So there's a lot of substance to that leaf and it's really kind of pretty how the new leaves unfurl there. Uh, so that's just really a nice upright looking house plant. Next we have Freddy, a uh, Calathea. Freddy is really nice, um, beautiful stripes. It's got that olive green and then the silver overlay, nice strappy looking leaves. So that one's really a pretty new addition. Next we have Birkin, it's a philodendron. And Birkin has the new growth that comes out kind of a green and white stripe. And then as the flowers age, you can see how they progress to more of that solid green color. Here we have Maconia. Looks like it's another Calathea. And this is a really pretty uh, foliage. A little bit bigger leaf than the Freddy. It's got that nice green and out the olive green and kind of that lighter green texture to it. Um, if you look really close there, I love the texture of those uh, pale green stripes. So that is also a nice new addition. And the one I think that stands out as by far the most brightest new addition here is the lemon lime. This is a philodendron and that's just it speaks for itself with that beautiful lime green foliage. Uh, so that I think you know we'll back it out here and you can see it paired with a couple of the greener house plants. And I think that would make a really pretty trio if you were wanting to mix and match some of these beautiful colors and textures together. Next, we have a Monstera Addisonii, I believe is the name of this one here. And it's got that nice signature leaf there with the holes in it. Really a nice dense habit, uh, quite a dark green foliage. Um, so I really like how the, the leaves are really Swiss cheese looking. Next we have a ficus audrey, and this one here has got nice green thick leaves, a nice upright habit. Uh, so this is going to be one of those ficus that gets fairly tall. We have a fern next. This is the dwarf Japanese holly, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. Um, but let's go in and take a look here at the foliage. There's a little hue of silvery blue to this, um, not as much as the fern that we'll be talking about in just a minute, uh, but it's got this nice airy habit to it, a nice really full plant. Um, so that would really be a one that if you're looking for some fullness with a house plant, this would give you a little fullness to the space. Here we have Ornata, and this is a Calathea, I think is how you say that. And I just love this one. I love how that green striping is on every one of these leaves. Um, just really pretty. And I think that that just really, the green, the, or excuse me, the pink stripes just really make this plant stand out and kind of pop in the collection here. So there you can see it with other greens and a burgundy next to it. Um, actually, these two here paired together are really pretty because the two pinks really pull out in each other when they're next to each other. Uh, this here is Dottie. This is a Calathea as well. It's got the nice burgundy leaves, quite large leaves, especially here next to the 
or not others much smaller burgundy in color with that nice kind of hot pink edging there um, you can see here the leaf in the back is a little bit bigger and then when you turn the leaves all over it's got that just solid burgundy backside to it uh, so that's really pretty as well as we move along we have another fern this is the japanese bird nest it's called chrissy and this one here has got really thick foliage this is a pretty dense fern um, and one thing to point out on this fern is the tips of every leaf you can see there how they're kind of when they get to the end and then they break off and then they break off again so a lot of texture here in this bird nest fern uh, this is going to be one that's going to get fairly wide even if it doesn't get tall you can see here how it's a fairly wide specimen especially compared to the five inch pot that it's planted in now here's the one i was talking of earlier that has a lot more blue to it this is a blue star and i'm not going to try to say that name either uh, but this is a really wispy looking plant kind of fern like although i'm not sure if it's for sure a fern um, but I like this wispy kind of palm tree-ish looking wave in the breeze type leaves. So in that nice blue foliage, kind of that silverish overlay there really makes for a stunning plant. Next. The next plant we have here is the fiddle leaf fig. This one is called Bambino. This is a ficus with the name being Bambino. That would make me think this is a shorter plant, although I don't know for certain because I don't have the height information. Uh, but it's got that nice thick leaf on it um, so definitely your typical looking fiddle leaf fig plant next we have another one called bambino and this is an alocasia and this has got that beautiful black leaves with that silver veining on it and this is has a really nice up close look of it really a nice plant and this is going to continue to fill out as it matures to kind of fill in all this um, area here that right now seems a little airy next we have robusta this is ficus elastica this is a, a like a rubber plant and you can see here the back side of the leaves with that beautiful magenta red stripe we'll look closer the leaves are a nice olive color and then here you can see this is a new leaf that's emerging and that's got a little bit more of a light green tinge to it so i can see that you're going to see variations on this plant as the new growth emerges here's the zz plant and i don't even know how to say that so zz is the best way we're going to say this um, so this is a nice beautiful uh, bright green foliage uh, really this plant you can see is just packing this pot just full bursting out um, so it's a really nice robust plant one nice thing with the zz plants is if you're somebody that just doesn't know where to start with house plants zz is a good one to start with uh, they're the type of plant that if you're not the best at watering they are definitely forgiving so if you're looking to add a little green to your indoor area and just don't know where to start i'd recommend the zz plant and last we have samantha ficus and this is a beautiful variegated ficus really airy um, this is one if it's sitting in your windowsill it's just going to really nicely just air be a nice airy plant that blows in the breeze i like that variegated foliage on that um, so this is one i don't know i would call like if you have like a corner in your room where you want to put a nice upright tree looking house plant this would be one that i would suggest for that type of location so hopefully here this gives you a little oversight on up close and personal what some of the house plants look like and this also kind of shows you the size of them at least the size of them that we got in this most recent shipment this could change from shipment to shipment so i don't want to promise you that the plants will always be looking exactly like this uh, but one thing i must say about these plants is they're very nice healthy specimens um, nice full plants there's a lot of it, just a lot of fullness to them so i was really pleasantly surprised with the size and the health of the plants one thing to point out with these plants from leaf joy the proven winter house plant is that these are grown in a greenhouse so a lot of the house plants that you get 
from some of the big box stores. They're grown in Florida and they're grown outdoors. So the, the plants can be more susceptible to burn on the leaves, more susceptible to bugs from the outdoors. So that is one thing with these is they're nice, clean plants that you can bring and keep in your house and not worry about bringing any of the outdoor nature or the outdoor burnt look to your indoor plants. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings.